Welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ramchandar. In this video, we are going to discuss about a few functional interfaces which was added in Java 1.8. So, especially in this video, I am going to concentrate on four functional interfaces. One is int supplier, another one is long supplier, long supplier and next one is, next one is double supplier and last one is boolean supplier. So, especially in this video, I am going to concentrate on these four suppliers, int supplier, long, double and boolean suppliers. These are the having methods, get as int is the method, get as long is the method and get as double is the method and get as boolean is the method. So, th all these are what a 0 argument, all these are what are 0 argument methods only. What they are going to give us? These are going to give your integer data, it is giving integer data, it is going to give long data, it is going to give double data and it is going to give what is this boolean data. So, like this we have few methods few methods means four methods in four functional interfaces. Okay. Now, seriously observe how to developing programming concept on top of these uh, four functional interfaces. Very simple. First, let me work with uh, int supplier, very simple int supplier, int supplier is equal to, I want to provide the implementation for uh, get as int method by using lambda expression like this. Now, it is going to return some int value, return some int value like 1, 2, 3, int value like uh, 1, 2, 3, clear. Now, one more, what is that one more long supplier, long supplier ls equal to, this is also what here going to return some long value, it is going to return what here some long value int. 2, 3, 4, L. Next one, double supplier, double supplier, double supplier, double supplier, d s equal to, again, I am giving implementation for get as a double method by using lambda expression, here written, written, written 12.2 d double. Now, finally, what is this uh, boolean, boolean supplier b s equal to open and closed parenthesis, yes. Now, here I am writing like, here I am writing like written, written some boolean either true or false. So, boolean supplier. So, coding is very simple, nothing is there. Now, first let me concentrate on what your boolean. So, here this uh, entire lambda will be replaced with what your get as boolean and it will returns what your true. Now, I want to return true if the condition is what your success, otherwise I want to give what your false. So, what I am doing here is, I am asking to the scanner class, first let me create a scanner object, scanner scan equal to new scanner of what system dot in, system dot in. Okay. Now, here I am asking to end user like system dot out dot print and enter some value. Now, here I am writing like if, if first I want to read the value, int value equal to scan dot next int. Now, here I am writing like if value percentile double equal to 0, 0, percentile 2 double equal to 0, then I want to return what here true, else, else return what here false. Now, how I am going to work with this boolean supplier? First, uh, let me show you, later we will go with what here double supplier and remaining things. Now, I am calling system dot out dot print ln, system dot out dot print ln b s dot get as boolean, get as boolean. 
okay given number is given number is even given number is even now let us execute this program enter some value what is that 20 given number is even yes that is what I am printing what here true now let me execute this program again 19 given number is what here even no false why here 19 am enter that will be read by next int method place into where value now 19 modulus 2 double equal to 0 true or false false so automatically what happen here else block is going to execute now it will returns what here false so boolean supplier having internally one method what is that get as boolean it is always returns it is always returns what here come on um, boolean data now the same thing let me write here double supplier system dot out dot println system dot out dot println i am asking to the end user enter some enter some value for square root value for what here square root very simple let me read that int i equal to int int num equal to scan dot what is that method scan dot scan dot next int method scan dot next int method now finally what i am going to return here very simple math dot square root of num math dot square root of num now let me comment this one later i am writing like a system dot out dot println the system dot out dot println here i am writing like um, here i am writing like the square root of square root of square root of given number is square root of given number is now here i am writing like very simple ds dot get as a double ds dot get as double see this so whenever we calling ds dot get as double automatically this expression is going to execute the reason is this is the implementation for this is the implementation for which method get as double in the form of lambda expression so it will asking enter value for square root now i'm enter like what here 16 what it will returns returns what here double returns double now if you open the method if you open the method of square root what i'm getting here double return type is what here double get as a double returns what here double only now what is this int int supplier what is this int supplier so it is always returns what here int value it is always returns what here int value for example system dot out dot println system dot out dot println system dot out dot println what is this enter enter some value for square enter some value for what here square int value equal to scan dot next int scan dot next int yes now what i am going to return here value into value what i am returns here value into value value into value now what it is going to return here int value now let us observe system dot out dot print ln the square of the given number is the square of the given number is very simple what is the method here internally int supplier dot get as a int get as int now see the code now whenever we calling like a get as int internally this uh, lambda will executing the reason is this lambda is the implementation for get as int method now let me execute the program now what i am writing here 25 then it will showing like uh, 625 now if you are executing the program like uh, 105 105 then it will giving what here one big number so square of the given number okay like that long so what i am doing here uh, what i am doing here i want to return system timing in the milliseconds in the what year current time millis current time millis return type is what year long itself now system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln current time in millis in millis now observe guys how to call that method very simple long supplier ls dot get as long get as long now very simple let us see the output let us see the output current time is 
So, again executing. So, what happened? Keep on changes, dynamic response. So, this is the way we can able to work with what your inter supplier, double supplier and a boolean supplier as well as what your long supplier. So, this is the simplest way to work with what your suppliers. All these suppliers, all these suppliers does not require any input, but ready to supplying some output, nothing but ready to giving some output. So, int supplier always giving integer and a long supplier always giving long value as well as double supplier will giving double data as well as what your boolean supplier always giving boolean value. Now, int supplier always giving int value as well as double supplier always giving double value as well as boolean supplier always giving boolean value as well as long suppliers uh, giving what your long value. So, I hope you understand the programmatic concept related to these different types of suppliers. For more videos, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.